first two periods, it looked like you guys were going to have a pretty good night. What was the difference between those first two periods and the third and the overtime? Um, you know, we were, we were playing really good. And um, I think, you know, similar to last night, you, you just – every little play matters. And you have to – you can't – you've got to stick to the game plan. And, again, you're going to make mistakes, but you can't give them things. Um, you know, we put them on the power play, and that's – that's you can't do that. That's just not a – a recipe for success when when you just want the game to to be difficult for them. I mean, it really seems like in those first two periods you're holding them to some pretty weak shot attempts. The third period they get a little bit away from you. You know, they, you, you knew they were going to push, um, and you know I thought we we were playing really good. I, I don't, you know they were obviously without uh, Mike List, which is a big big piece to their team, and but. I think we were playing the way we wanted to play, and things were going well for us. Um, Eric Dot made some really good saves because he had to at times. Um, their goalie made some good saves at times, um, but then then they came out and pushed, and and you know we have to be we have to learn how to respond and weather that. And and um, again, we're going to learn. All we can do is learn from this. And and again, until we until we are in this situation and we handle it accordingly. Um, it's, it's going to continue to be something we have to continue to, to focus on. On the tying goal, you kind of mentioned it last night, a goal from a non-threatening situation. Did you feel like you were in a pretty good place? And just take yeah, we, time? you know, I didn't see the whole thing. I saw how it went in. Um, and again, a guy turns and takes a wrister from the blue line. I, I didn't see how Eric, Eric didn't have a stick. And, and so it went, you know, um, it, it, apparently it, it hit off someone's skate and then went right through Eric's leg. So I don't know how he lost his stick, but he didn't have his stick. And then the puck comes, you know, in his feet, and sure enough, it goes right through his legs. But apparently it tipped off someone's skate. And then the last goal, same thing. You know, they, they win a face off, they go across. We, we, we go to block a shot, which you want your guys to do. We, and unfortunately, we blocked it, and it went right, like literally right on his a guy's tape at the back door. There's nothing anybody could do. It seemed like, yeah, yesterday they had just had a, a tremendous amount of speed coming through the rush. So how much of that was kind of designed into tonight, trying to just whether that storm of their speed in the neutral zone, and, and I mean, it, they still tonight seemed like they were just attempting home run pass after home run pass, and it, it, you guys. Just I thought for two periods we we did a really good job of, of taking the play to them and playing in their end and and, and dictating the, the the terms of play, um, and then you know they're when you're down two nothing you're you're trying to do whatever you're trying to spring guys you're trying to flip pucks over people's head you're, you're trying to do whatever you can to get in the offensive zone and try to try to you know create a turnover and create an opportunity to get a shot on net and and you know that's a that's a situation we can learn from all, all you need to do in that situation is pucks have to get to the net they can't they the more pucks that get to the net the more chances they have of going in so um, yeah they're they're I think we did a good job neutralizing their speed based on how we were playing and, and playing in the offensive zone and forecheck. And we were really physical tonight. We were we were really really good at times. You know, really really good. That first goal seemed like kind of just a, a small example of you know what it takes to beat a team like that, where it's the shift that causes the power play. It's just a tremendous amount of effort, and then right away on the power play. So were you guys kind of maybe a little bit more confident despite not being as successful on the power play? Yesterday, we we you know they did we did a good job tonight on the power play and and you know that was something that we talked about something that 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 exact situation like be, look for this and 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 they did and and they executed so really good play on our guys' part and again we had two two power play goals and things were were humming along until the third in terms of the, the special teams battle and then we had a power play in overtime that you know I think our we had a bunch of guys that were tired and and uh, weren't necessarily. At their best, and we, we really didn't get even get an opportunity to get it set up. You mentioned your guys being at the best. Do you think this uh, week off is going to be some good for you guys just to kind of regroup? I hope so. I mean, we'll see. You know, we'll see when we get. Uh, you know, our, our next game's a long way away, so we'll see what we can do over the next couple of weeks to give ourselves. Um, you know, get through this, get past this, get over this, and and start. All we can do is move forward. That's that's what we talked about in the room. Um, yeah, it stings. It sucks. Every kind of whatever you want to, however you want to phrase it. But uh, all we can do is continue to move forward because we played. You know, even last night's game, I had a couple of people talk to me, and it was a, it was a better game than a, than a five to two game or six to three game. We we played well enough to win, and, and and tonight we certainly played well enough to win. And you know, credit to Minnesota State. They 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 have a group that believes and and doesn't quit and and feels you know feels like they are always in the game. So. 
I mean, maybe you guys haven't really thought about it yet, but just the way that the standings are kind of lining up, does it seem like maybe you're getting some of that postseason atmosphere before you even reach the stand, the, the postseason, just because of the way the standings are lining up now? With the yeah, I mean, we're season. we're in a push to be at home ice, which is unfamiliar territory for us. We, typically, we've got ourselves in a position where we're, where we know we're going to be in home ice uh, for for the playoffs. So that's a that's a focus of ours. And and again, we just want to. At the end of the day, we want to be playing our best hockey. We want to be playing hockey, you know, the way you saw us play for long stretches tonight. Um, and, and, and we know if we can do that, we're going to be a tough out for anybody. But it is kind of like the playoffs right now for us.